Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're going to be seeing if we can get the memory temperature on these cards here. So I have a bunch of 3080s, 3090s, a 3080 Ti. Recently seen a video by Dandy Works. He explains how you could get the memory temperature on HiveOS. But this is something that he has updated recently because it's... Let's, let's give it a try and see what happens. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it's it's showing the temperatures according to uh, uh, Denny uh, Works' uh, video, and holy crap. So some of these temperatures are pretty good, except for that gigabyte. And that gigabyte, I know, has been thermal throttling because it's going from, um, well, before it was 120 like a hash, and it dropped down to 102, so... This one definitely needs to be repadded, and this is just confirmation that it does need to be repadded. Damn. This is awesome. <laughs> Even if you just have to do this once in a while, this is this is so much better than um, just tracking your GPU to see if it's thermal throttling in terms of the hash rate. You can actually just go in and see, yes, this is thermal throttling because the memory temperature is high. So this is this is amazing and I uh this yeah I I just don't know what else to say. This is this is awesome. I've been I mean the whole community has been wondering what's what to do and this this guy here figured it out. This is awesome man. Really appreciate this. Alright, so we're back at the rig. I didn't change any of the flight sheets or anything like that. And we do see that Gigabyte is at 106 mega hash, and then in the shell, it's showing that it is 110. So I need to repad this soon. But yeah, it just and I still I still can't believe we got the memory temperature on it, and <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> but again, we had to reiterate what he had said. This is risky. You don't know if there's anything that's going to really happen to your rig, your cards, or anything. So, if you're planning to try this, do it at your own risk. You may screw something up. And we don't know in the future, maybe HiveOS will get this into their system. But this has been pretty cool just to see that it's working. So, in the next video, I will be repadding this 3090 gigabyte, and this is just confirmation that it needs to be repadded. This GPU over here was recently repadded over here on the bottom, and this one over here, uh, GPU 2, was also repadded. Those seem to be pretty good, but this is an XC3, so it's, it's not that great. I mean, you should just sell it, but yeah, all right, well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Please check out his page because this has been pretty cool to, to see. All right, guys, so please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.